So can red light therapy be used in order to help you to lose weight? Obviously weight loss is a multifaceted subject, but in this video, I'm gonna give you some of the results from a specific study that was using red light therapy in order to help people to lose weight. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutzer here from Mychondria, and if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Uh, on this channel, you're gonna find videos all about light and its effect on your health and things like uh, your circadian rhythm. So if you want to learn more about that, make sure that you click both the subscribe and the notification bell. That'll make sure that you see our videos and you don't miss any of our future content. For today's video, I'm going to go through a specific study. And the study was titled, uh, Low Level Laser Therapy as a Non-Invasive Approach for Body Contouring, a Randomized Controlled Study. Body contouring is such a nice word for weight loss. Um, so this was published in the Journal of Lasers and Surgery and Medicine and what I'll do is I'll put a link to the full study uh, in the bottom below this video. But basically what it involved is it was a two-week two week study and it involved 67 participants all between the ages of 18 and 65 years old and they all had a BMI between 25 and 30 kilograms per meter squared. So I'm going to quickly jump into the protocol and then show you what they did over the two-week period. All right, so what they did is on day one, they tested everyone's waist circumference, hip circumference, and thigh circumference. And then they divided the group into two different groups. One of them was to receive red light therapy, and then the other one would be treated with a fake light. So this was a blinded study where the participants were actually uh, blindfolded for their sessions, and they weren't actually made aware of whether or not they were in the treatment group. So 35 of them went into the red light therapy group, and then 32 of them went into the fake light group and they did three sessions per week for two weeks. So it's a total of uh, six sessions over the study. And then after the two week period, they retested the waist circumference, hip circumference, and thigh circumference of all the participants. So the way they marked whether or not someone was a successful participant who had actually lost weight, they used an FDA standard, which is if over the two week period, you can have a total reduction in circumferences uh, between your hips, waist, and thigh, of three inches or more, then that classifies as a successful result. What they found is in the control group, two out of the 32 uh, participants met this criteria. So 6.38% of this group, uh, the control group that didn't actually receive any uh, red light therapy, they were able to meet that criteria. You know, there's multiple facets to weight loss as I've already mentioned. Um, but whereas in the red light therapy group, even though there are these other factors that were involved, 22 out of the 35 participants were able to meet this criteria of three inches or more uh, in weight loss on these three different uh, circumference points. So that represented 62.9% of that group. So 62.9% of the red light therapy group versus 6.38% uh, of the control group. So obviously, as I've said uh, in this video already, you know, weight loss, there are many um, aspects to losing weight. Uh, you know, it can involve things like diet, things like exercise, there's a lot of um, healthy lifestyle choices that come with it. What is very interesting though is um, at the end of the study, the researchers uh, discussed the mechanism of how they believe red light therapy was helping to um, cause this, this weight loss. And what they basically said is that because of the increased blood flow and glymphatic flow in these areas, um, any fat cells that were being broken down, they were, you know, they get broken down into fatty acids and um, triglycerides. And because of this increased flow in the area, your body is able to absorb that and move that out quicker. So while red light therapy is not going to be, you know, your fix to a bad lifestyle and, you know, really unhealthy choices, it can work almost like a hand in glove where if you've, you know, made the decision that you want to lose some weight and you're going to start exercising more or you're going to start eating better, then, you know, your fat cells that you currently have, those need to be broken down and they need to be moved out of your body. And red light therapy is very well known for increasing blood flow and glymphatic uh, flow in areas. Um, and that is the mechanism which they believe with um, how red light therapy is able to facilitate this process. So if you do want to look uh, into getting yourself a red light therapy device, then I highly, make sh I highly uh, suggest that you make sure you do your research. There are a lot of devices on the market. And you know, even though I am referencing a study to you today, the devices that they use in the studies aren't always the same ones that you can buy as home devices. Um, so make sure that you actually you know, look at some specifications. At Mychondria, we're very transparent with um, our devices. And we also don't just speak about the results in the studies. We have testimonials um, from our own um, customers who have used our specific devices in order to get results. 
So if you are gonna pick a device, make sure that you're choosing a company that um, backs up their claims with their own results as well. It's very easy to just hide behind the studies where they've used a very high quality devices and then some of the cheap devices you could get off something like Amazon don't tend to uh, reproduce those results. So if you look in the uh, link uh, description below this, this video, I'll put a link where you can see some of the results from Mychondria and you can have a look at some of our devices. And I'll also give you a bit of an explanation of how you can make sure that if you do pick a device, you know, which specifications should you be looking at um, in order to make sure that you're getting a device that is going to get you results. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash the um, thumbs up button. That lets us know that you enjoy content like this and we can start making more along these lines. Um, if you have any questions from today's video, then please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Other than that, I hope that you have a great day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.